I am Maria Garcia de Fleury. One of the most common ways people addressed Jesus was as teacher, and he was. In fact, Jesus himself endured the title of teacher when at the Last Supper he told his apostles, you call me teacher and I am. That we can find in John chapter 13. Already from the beginning of Jesus' public ministry, the theme of his teaching was the kingdom of God, and by teaching it, he taught them to be aware of evil, that there is an enemy of God and humanity, and it is necessary to know that enemy. For example, in the famous parable of the sower and the seed, he tells them, those who are along the path when it is sown are those who hear the word of God, but as soon as they receive it, Satan comes and takes away the word sown in them. Again, in the parable of the tares, in Matthew 13, Jesus speaks of an enemy who sows tares among the wheat, and in his explanation, Jesus identifies the enemy as the evil one, the devil. When it speaks of the Son of Man coming in his glory, surrounded by all his angels, he will sit on the throne of glory, which is his and all nations will be brought into his presence, and he will separate one from another, just like the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will say to those on his left, Cursed ones, get away from me and go into the eternal fire, which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. Jesus had Satan in mind when he warned the twelve in Matthew chapter 10, saying, and do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell, saying that it is God who must be feared. On another occasion, Jesus described a group of Pharisees and teachers of the law as wicked and adulterous generation, and taught the people could be target of satanic mischief. Peter is an example of this. When in Luke 22, Jesus said, Simon, Simon, behold Satan against ask, ha, has asked to have you so that he could sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you so that your faith may not fail. Jesus taught awareness of evil in the Lord's Prayer when we say, and lead, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The consciousness of evil is visible. By praying for the preservation of Peter's faith, Jesus practiced what he preached. Jesus also practiced what he preached in the Garden of Gethsemane. And in his prayer, he said, I pray for my disciples. I do not ask you to take them, O Lord, out of the world, but to keep them from the evil one. Jesus knew that his followers needed divine protection. There were many reasons for the incarnation of Christ. One key was defending the devil, defeating the devil. Defeating the devil and Satan involved both the active obedience of Christ, his life, and his passive obedience, his death. The life he lived and the death he died are the keys to our salvation, on the one hand, and the defeat of darkness on the other. Jesus did the will of the Father. He resisted diabolical temptations in the desert and thus proved to be faithful Adam and the faithful Israel. He lived by every word he spoke. He taught his listeners about the devil and his ways. He made the darkness visible so that we would want to live in the light of God because with God we always win.